Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 466. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and well, we got some news for you this week. But before that, I, I need to I, I need to clarify and explain a few things. If you noticed last week, we didn't have an episode. And well, that's not because that we didn't have any news. It's just that the news that we have was kind of little and I personally feel if I were to report on them, it would be a bit, how would I put this, uh, quick. So it'd be one of those episodes where it's just going to be a cookie, so uh, it won't be fulfilling. And for this week, I, I do feel that it's going to be another cookie. So, but but at least we have, what, um five news? Sorry about that. But anywho, so yeah, um, moving forward, uh, uh, what I'm guessing is, or what I'm feeling is that I'm going to be selective with how I record. So, meaning that if I personally feel that the news is a bit quick and short, I'm going to hold off a week and record the following week, like what I'm doing now. So that way, I'll have at least more content, more bang for the buck for you guys. <clears throat> so anyway, let's not delete that and let's pop right into it. So first news is, new full page generation 5, My Little Pony advertisement appears. So, uh, another one of those random brand spotlight magazines has a little bit of pony in it to help hype up the movie. Uh, when I say little, it's very little. Uh, with just this page above appearing inside, it's new art. So, there you have it. Uh huh. <clears throat> so yeah, I I seen the brand spotlight magazine and yep, there's no there's not much info at all if I remember right, and there's just this poster. Um yeah, I mean, <laughs> see, uh, I, I'll save it for later. So let's move on to the next one because I think this is kind of related. New background reveal in another generation five promo image. Uh, we got something other than new posters for once, yay. A promo for Generation Fly 5 included in a brand magazine has revealed some kind of future location for the movie, including some very snazzy looking sea cliffs and small village on top of them. I wonder if this will be one of the major assets for, uh, sorry, of the um, it just says of the we will see once it's released. Oh my god, Seth, what was that? <clears throat> so, yeah, um, this one is new for me. I haven't seen this yet, but it still uses the same asset as this one. Just, well, um, turn here, turn there, I guess. Mm, maybe no, not really. A bit. So, yeah, there's a hillside town, so that's cool. Uh, they're near the, I'm guessing, sea, so... Okay, interesting uh, locations. Other than that, I got no idea. So, <clears throat> that's about it. So, let's move on to the next one. Another, <laughs> wow. Another new G5 main 5 pony image arrives. Best friends are the family we choose. Okay. Another G5 image has been posted on the usual Hasbro social media channels, complete with a few new posters, uh, poses. They tend to rock the same faces, don't they? Hmm. Hopefully we'll get a trailer soon. It's pretty overdue at this point. So, <clears throat> before I move on to the last two, um, this, this set of news, or this set of uh, info that's coming out, it's not it's not really giving us any much any anything to bite on like it's just that it, it's just the same old same old uh tease us with posters tease us with uh poses tease us with background and whatnot and not really do anything about it i mean right now we, we're just wondering how do they sound uh what are their personalities like and from what we are shown and given Ah uh, man, um, who 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 is the unicorn for the group? I forgot her name. 
<clears throat> yeah, I, I think I remember in the future. But uh, she, we, we don't really know how, uh, what she is, or sorry, we we don't really know how her personality is, and if she's um, whatever it is. I mean, we we don't know. All we know is that they put a tennis ball on her horn. That's about it. And at the same time, too, uh, we know the group of uh, the twilight of the group. Um, I forgot her name. Oh my god, I'm sorry about that. Uh, we we know that she's very. From okay, from what we saw, we we can guess that she's going to be very. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, <clears throat> a very 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 um enthusiastic. So. Yeah, that's that. And then there's a sporty one. I mean, this is, uh, this, this is all just tropes. This is just um, judging a book by its cover and whatnot. So at first glance, this is what we get. And we're, we're just going to guess, okay, the, the guy is going to be um, probably an Applejack of the group. And then the cocky Pegasi is going to be the Rainbow Dash. The uh, Unicorn might be the Fluttershy of the group. And the uh, other Pegasi is going to be more of a Pinkie Pie, probably, or a Fluttershy, and so on. I mean, this is one of those things where, oh, at first impressions, uh, this is what we think, and this is what we, uh, this is what we think because uh, we got no, we got not much info, and probably all expectations are going to be shattered if once we see the trailer and once we get a feel for it. And one of, one of the few things that come into mind is how old are they in terms of uh, what you call this uh, in terms of age? Because uh, the male pony here is a sheriff, so well they told us it's a sh he's a sheriff. So um, could he be within the twenty to thirty range? Probably, who knows? So we, we got no idea how old they are going to be and so on. And the main character seems young. Is she, uh, what, te uh, 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 late, te um, late teen or something like that? I mean, there's a lot of questions I'm thinking and asking here. I, I got no idea about you guys, but for me, this seems very interesting. But with the whole giving us teas and whatnot, it's kind of, starting to annoy me so let's move on to the second to last news the official my little pony social media celebrates pride month so <clears throat> it's pride month which means everyone is changing profile pictures supporting uh, posting supportive message and gener uh, gen generally sharing their feelings on the world on of celebrating our diverse world of sexual orientation with that comes Hasbro's take on it via the image up above. This one was from Instagram but they've shown similar supportive message on other platforms. It just happens to have more G5 ponies for us to glean over uh, in this case. Alright. Let's see. No, uh, some nice something nice. Post will return starting tomorrow. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, the whole Pride Month and the support for LGBTQ is well out there. I mean, yeah. But when it comes from a corporate company, it feels so fake. I don't know, man. Like, why? See, they have <clears throat> LGBTQ representation in the episode or the show or their brand. Uh, they have what? Lara and Bonbon. Apparently, Applejack and Rainbow Dash from the future. And so on. So doing something like this i mean um sophisto even mentioned here that uh we we got a bit more of g5 other than that but i'm, I'm guessing other places have g4s maybe 
who knows i i don't know but it feels too personally for me it feels like this is just corporate pandering like corporate is just throwing pandas at you <clears throat> but other than that it's a nice gesture it's a nice gesture i appreciate it and well if you're in the lgbtq spectrum oh well the show is <laughs> supports the whole spectrum and let's move on to the last one and the last one is insiders 259 lgbtq characters in cartoon this include some ponies in all honesty i tried to look for this quote-unquote list but i couldn't find anything uh, even in the chat below so yeah uh, i'm just gonna go for what this is so okay <clears throat> uh, insider has created a giant list of shows with characters in all of them that are somehow on the lgbtq spectrum uh, in pony's case we have scootaloo's aunt lyra bonbon and oddly enough king sombra i'm guessing that was based on uh one of mike vogel's tweet and since sunset shimmers also gets a mention over in equestria galan uh, where the one evidence uh, sorry, uh, where the only evidence we have for her being bisexual is a tweet from the show stuff uh, what do you think should they get rainbow dash and applejack on board they're considering them uh, both heavily hinted at as well as confirmed multiple times by both their voice actress and show staffers so yeah uh, this doesn't feel like pandering this is just a list and this feels very cool and <clears throat> having a list of well it's one of those cases where having a list is kind of a devil, double-edged sword uh it's one of those things where oh uh the show has uh, lgbtq representation i might want to watch it or i want to avoid it so it's one of those cases and it can get very annoying that people so, <laughs> this is me being a a wet blanket and sometimes certain companies do take advantage of that just because uh it's the in thing right now <clears throat> so for this uh, it's, it's cool like i mentioned before this is just a list so um at holiday and at lofty are it's good to lose and well yeah um if i'm not mistaken at holiday is good to lose biological and while and lofty is well at holiday's partner so that's how they related uh lyra and 3d drops or bonbon in this case are married in the show and sombra here is if i'm not mistaken i'm going to double check because <clears throat> let's see oh wait no no not one uh it's this one Let's see. This been this. <laughs> this is very very old news. It's almost what two three years. Okay, I'm all about fighting by er assur mm, is, er assur assur. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm fight. I'm all about fighting by assur. So more than happy to classify Sombra as a by icon. Everyone deserves that dude's uh. Uh, dulcet voice yes <laughs> okay so i i think that's the reference that they're pulling off there and this is sunset shimmers sunset shimmer is by according to k headley director of equestria goals okay here's the what you call this tweet so i'm just going to skip forward for a bit because blah 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 um for your information sunset is by so they're haters. Uh, FYI, I knew that already. We thought it was pretty obvious. Um, is it a canon thing or something fans can leave up to themselves? Of course it can. I don't get in the way of sales shipping. 
Aha. So yes, uh, you can add Sunset into the list too. And for me personally, this opens up a whole bunch of story opportunities when it comes to writing and whatnot. But in, in how do I put it? Uh, for GeForce case, it's a bit too late right now because, well, G4 is over. Uh, right now, everything is up to other fans to do stuff, to do content. And if you've been on uh, Filmfic, <laughs> uh, they've shown Sunset to be by with a lot of characters and um, even Twilight and so on. Let's just say the main six are by in fanfic land. So, yeah, it's one of those things where you can do anything you want in your own ideas. What I'm thinking mostly is just that let's let's move up to G5. Let's just move up to G5. So, uh, in G5, you know, this is not the right picture. Let's go for this one. Yeah. Uh, in G5, we have five main characters here. Uh, we have four girls and one boy. So... Uh, the relationship dynamic is going to be very interesting. So we, we got no idea how they're going to play off. An interesting factor is that um, maybe one of the girls, or maybe all of the girls are interested in the boys. That, that's pretty cliche. Or we could have uh, one of the girls are interested with the others except for the two sisters. That's just creepy. And maybe the guy is gay who knows it's one of those story opportunity that comes up in terms of writing like how do you make it work um i remember looking at a post on the uh what's the website again i think it was tumblr tumblr twitter i don't remember but uh it was showing one of a, one of the characters in norm paranormal yes P paranormal I, I think that's a show called yeah it, it was a movie so, uh, in, in the show, there was this character who, throughout the uh, movie, didn't really say much about his sexual orientation till the end. And he commented that, oh, uh, me, and boyfriend, uh, me and my boyfriend love to watch that movie. And they didn't really ham it in, like, look at us, we support gay characters and what the... Blah, blah, blah. So, they didn't really do that. Uh, but... Some certain medias kind of highlight it, like um, what Disney with its movie. Um, I I think what it was about the monster and the thing. What was it again? Oh man, I I forgot. But it was that movie. Uh, they sh they they really highlighted the character, and she she wasn't even a what you call this main protagonist. She she was just. A side character who was just who had a scene. That's about it. And yeah, and how to put it? It's it's oh man. It's it's a nice balance of how do you represent the LGBT spectrum and whatnot. And I, I think we're jumping all over the place from this to that. And you know what? Good job. I, I, I personally feel that having a character who is LGBTQ is a bit... Mm, it, it, it's a bit... How do I put this? What's the one I'm looking for? Pandering at some point. I mean, you... You can add one of those. You, sorry, you can add a character like that, but at the same time too, you need to respect the character. You're you're just not using a character as a trope, which I find a lot of companies that do that just because that it is the in thing right now. Um, being on the LGBTQ spectrum uh, pulls a lot of views, and a lot of people would want to support a show like that. And I've seen shows that um, manipulate people in watching just because, hey, look, there's a uh, lesbian couple. Oh, look, there's a, well, probably not gay because they're, they're not much in media because of, well, I, I think people see them 
or see when people see gay couple it's a bit awkward when they're when it's a lesbian couple oh it's all okay i mean bah, bah humbug. <clears throat> but getting but, <laughs> but getting to my point it's how you treat the character and it's how you respect them first things first when you write a show it's always based on how you sorry uh, is based on the characteristic of the person uh, characteristic personality and motivation uh, sexual orientation it comes second because when you do a show you can do a show that doesn't have to involve relationship relationship for certain shows comes next and if you do want to add in a lesbian character gay character or bi bisexual character you you have to treat those characters with respect when you write when you're writing them i mean don't use them as a trope or whatever so you can kind of get the views that you want or get the audience members to come in and say oh my goodness this is awesome blah 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 i mean yeah uh, like there's there's a how so i'm looking for there is a good way of dealing with it and there is the ham-fisted i want money kind of way and that's up to you to decide who who does that for me personally i have my i have my picks and i'm gonna keep them to myself because some people might not agree and start a fight <laughs> so i i'm for me here i'm not going to pick a fight with you because uh, or what I think. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion and whatnot. But for me personally, this is uh, sorry. <laughs> getting back on track with the news. For me personally, I think this is awesome. I just wish that they added uh, three more characters, um, and those are Sunset, Rainbow, and Applejack. And you know, if they're not, it's cool. But the ending is kind of one of those things that ah man. Even if I say that, oh, they're not um a couple they're just really good friends it's hard not to pair them <laughs> after the uh season finale ending oh my goodness you know I i'm excited to see what happens in season 10 because um there has to be a backstory of how they got together i mean uh it's just insane if you just put them together without any explanation but, oh, that's the news for this week. And, well, uh, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is, what have I been doing with my week? So, <clears throat> uh, with the, well, with the two weeks that I've been, uh, well, last week I haven't been recording, so this week I have. So, let's see. Probably you guys were thinking, oh, I have a lot of things I've been doing. Honestly, no. The lockdown has taken its toll and we are not permitted to go out uh, a lot of shops close by 8 p.m so that's kind of a bummer especially uh, for food stalls uh, they are required to close at 8 p.m so if you want anything you have to kind of uh, consider the things that you want to do way in advance because delivery is uh, the delivery people kind of, well actually shops close their kitchen at 7 15 that's the uh, last call is probably seven i think or six something so yeah um besides that i've been playing a bit of magic surprisingly yeah I, i've been playing a bit of magic the gathering and you're probably thinking how am i doing that Ain't I allowed to go to gatherings and uh, meetups and whatnot? That is true. I, we are not allowed. But we have kind of discovered this new thing to play on. And it's called the computer. <laughs> and also there's a, a website that allows us to play online. The website is called spelltable.com. Uh, it's it originated as a fan project um a thing from normal players i think from uh player players like you and me who are very dedicated 
commander players who want to play with each other but couldn't because of the lockdown. Um, one of the ways that you could have done in the day was get into a Discord call, um, get get four people in a Discord call, and point the camera onto the playmat and whatnot. And you could go, you could do it like that. What Spell Table does is similar, but uh, they have functions for the game. Uh, life counter trackers, commander damage trackers, infect trackers. Also, uh, they have a system where you can uh, highlight the card and it will tell you what it is and you can read the description of the card. So, it is very good. Um, buggy, still buggy as hell, but it does a job. It does. It really does a job. So, I've been playing a lot of Commander lately, so that has been a lot of fun. I, I really enjoy um, playing this game. And with the new release of Modern Horizon 2, uh, there's a lot of things going on. Other than uh, more cards, yes. Um, couldn't really buy any because, well, I didn't pre-order and I am out of, <laughs> I won't say out of cash, but I am not in the right, oh no man, let's just say that money is tight because work has been a bit tough with the lockdown and whatnot. Mm. So uh, what what's next, what's next? Uh, with, besides playing Magic the Gathering, I've been, well, mm, I, I've been doing a lot of, well, um, self-discovery and whatnot. And you know what? I, I don't think I found myself yet. <laughs> but still, um, what else can I say? Um, other than that, I, I play a bit of video games. Um, still playing what? Um, a few games. Uh, I, I'm trying to remember what did I play that really hooked me. Um. What was it again? Uh, Hades is one of them. Uh, I, since I finished the game, I have been playing a bit less of it. Uh, one of the games that I've been playing heavily is Disco Elysium, the final cut. And I recently bought Ghost Runner. And Ghost Runner has been one of those games that kicked my ass. Um, it's not hard. Well, okay, it's hard, but not difficult in terms of uh, difficulty. But what, uh, it, how it kicked my ass is just by the motion blur and the first person sickness kind of thing. So every time when I try and play it, I get dizzy and I feel like I want to throw up. So yeah, that's not great for me at all. Ooh, give the gift stripes on sale now. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so yes, um, yeah. <laughs> Had to stop playing that because if not, I would have kind of hurt myself. So, no, 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 no. So, yeah, uh, besides that, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it, really. So, let's wrap things up. <clears throat> so, you can give me a second to look for the script. Yes. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themistergmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the Mia Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please do subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And search radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. If you would also please subscribe to the review and discussion podcast on iTunes and search radio, you can catch me and Totera reviewing Pony episodes, comics, specials, and, well, whatever is in between. We also like to do other things other than ponies, and those are animes, cartoon, comic books, and video games, and also movies, yes. Um, if you listen to our recent reviews, you, you, you got to hear Silver. Yes, Silver was back for a bit. And, yeah, he, he kind of needed the break. And, technically, he's he, he, technically, he appeared as a guest on the recent one. So, the expected rate of him coming on regularly is not high. 
uh, the bro is really busy, so eh, I, I'll give him his space. If he's free, he's free. So other than that, uh, yes, please do subscribe. And if you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussions and podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And if you thank you from me, uh, talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Master of Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.